Great Smoky Mountains. I got my little adventure buddy who's becoming a big adventure buddy. Little man. What are we doing today? River. What river? The Tuckasegee. So somehow I've never been on this river either. It's one of those I kind of skipped over when I was coming up in kayaking. And uh, we got an invite from James Burleson. And we're gonna meet those guys up here in just a second. And then they go hit the Tuckasegee Section 3, 1600 CFS, so it should be a great level. You excited? Yeah. yeah. World famous, James. So, that's right, man. Appreciate it. He sent an invite out a couple days ago, so little mine and I had to come up here and join him. This is one we've been looking to do. You ready, buddy? On a scale of one to ten, how do you think the day's gonna go? Eight. We just made shuttle with world famous Marty. <laughs> he's not going today. He'll probably join us next time, I guess. But uh, I certainly hate him not going today. But, but he's got everything down at the bottom, so that makes it easy. And we really appreciate it, man. Appreciate y'all, man. You ready, bud? Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah. Really good? Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> like a pro. And so I find myself on the Tuckasegee River with my little adventure buddy. And these are the days I've been looking forward to since I dreamed of having a son. Basically, today is gonna to be an introduction to big water. And there's really not a lot different at this level than what he's experienced, except for the volume of water and the power or the push of the water. And the push of rivers or creeks completely change how that river or creek feels to you as a boater. All the same principles and techniques apply. It's just that the river magnifies and highlights your poor form or mistakes. Now section three of the Tuckasegee at 1600 CFS has enough beef on it where it'll feel like a high volume, a big water day to a beginner kayaker, but it's not very technical, which means there's not a lot of rocks to avoid. There's not a lot of must make moves. You just have to do the moves you make correctly or the volume of the water will take control of your boat where you may have been able to get away with it at lower volume. So it's an introduction to big water for Pete and it was a fantastic day on the river. This bridge we're floating under marks the beginning of the beefy water. And here we come down through this chunky little area Nothing really drastic here. So here comes the first test, a pretty nice little wave hole. So this is Pete's view and you see it's a little confused afterwards. And you'll notice he does not leave a paddle in the water after the hole right in this area. That's where you really need to keep a paddle in the water and power your way out of the hole. We talked about that. He did a lot better as the day progressed. If you do not paddle out of there, that could lead to trouble. One thing I was thankful for was James' instruction on the way down the river for Petey. Each rapid he gave clear, concise instruction without any overhype and without any underhype. Just told him what to do and how to do it. Fantastic trip leader and I really appreciated that. It made my job a lot easier and I could focus on film. Now here you see Pete hit a reactionary wave right here shoots him to the left, and this big wave just tosses him to the left again, about three or four feet, and then he's in the big wave trains working it out. That was his first experience with being tossed about by a wave. And this is where you're heading down river, then all of a sudden you're moving left or right. Nice little peel out. And that's the thing with big water, is that it has control over you and the boat in a large way. And you're going to be committed once you get in that tongue, you're, you're going through this rapid and there's nothing that's going to stop that. So it's just about harnessing the power. And you see in this boogie water, Pete is just working it out, 
you know, you may have to go around a few big boulders like that, but it's mostly just flushy water and very little rocks you have to contend with unless you broach on a large boulder. So as you see Pete angle into that little seam and working his boat angle to get left and right down the river, he's doing a fantastic job. And if you can get comfortable on this big water, it is truly a playground for kayakers. But you have to pay attention. Pete was kind of just enjoying himself and relaxed. And here's the one rock that's going to give you trouble. We call this a rockopotamus. It's just kind of hiding, waiting on you. And uh, I kind of scoop him up off the rock and save him the negative experience, again, from my angle. Just kind of reacted late and wasn't paying attention. It can happen to anybody. Here we are into the next long rapid. Another set of boogie and wave trains, which is mostly what big water is. The other thing you can experience in big water are large wave holes or large ledge holes. But uh, on this run, it's mostly just wave trains. And this is where it gets a little bit what they call confused. You can have water hitting you from all sides, seemingly at once. And you just have to be loose in the hips and work it out. And there you see him almost catching edge. Doing fantastic, and it's a lot of fun. This river in particular is nice because there's these large pools to collect your wits or to collect your yard sale if you do have trouble. Fantastic river to learn on. Also, this river is not really what I would term a high volume big water river, but for Petey, the sensations he's feeling and the techniques he's learning will translate directly to something like the French Broad Section 9, which would be a step up from this. So at about the halfway mark, we beach up here on this little sandy beach, get out, tell some funny stories, enjoy a snack and a drink, stretch our legs, and enjoy just a beautiful spring day. Thanks again to the crew of James, David, Dina, and Paula. You cannot ask for a better paddling company. You want skirt on so you don't get wet? Yeah. Oh my God, the nose is not I don't want to You're doing good, huh? <laughs> Eating it up. It's a little bit of sleep. <laughs> One thing we need to become comfortable and familiar with and just accept about big water is that sometimes crazy things can happen to you with no fault of your own. Sometimes the water is just so confused and unpredictable that you just have to react to things happening to you. Good reaction there by Pete. As you saw, a boil line forms under his boat here and water starts piling up on his back left stern. And right there, he knows he's in trouble, or at least he thinks he is. His reaction is to use pure edge control and he pulls it out with no paddle stroke. As it piles up, he just curls his body on that left side and pulls his boat back underneath him. So while I would like to see him also employ a brace stroke, uh, he got out of that one with a really good reaction so his instincts are starting to kick in now and that's very encouraging and as you can see in big water that tongue or that v that big green tongue there is 20 feet wide as long as you're in there you're good to go there's nothing technical about it at all and that could be some of the fun of it you just read and run and ride the lightning all the way down the river and then you just work out whatever the water's doing around you and there's very few must make moves Catch a little eddy here, and here comes James. If you noticed, I got Pete reading and running the river ahead of me. I might give him a little instruction here and there, but it's good that he can read and find his own lines. And here we are with the last big boogie of the trip. Nice long stack of wave trains for him to kind of enjoy and bob through. And the bigger you go with this, the more fun it is. And just big wave trains, big water, and riding the lightning is still one of my favorite things to do. Even though it really requires the least amount of skill, sometimes it is the most amount of fun. 
here you see him going through the wave trains it's all about just understanding that you're coming through here it's going to be fast and it's going to be big and there's going to be water in your face but if you can get used to that that's where all the fun is some of my best memories even all these years later are the first times i was on eight or ten foot wave trains catching air off the backside. it's just a feeling you never forget and Pete comes in here trying to catch an eddy, but he doesn't drive into it, and he kind of just washes by it. And unfortunately, he finds a brooch, which he reacts to perfectly. Again, got to pay attention. Those little rocks will get you. Good try. I saw that one, too. Well, we survived. What do you think, big man? Good. Was it? Well, how about that one thing that shot you to the left like six feet, seven feet? Yeah, I did not like that. Didn't like it? But you liked it after it was over? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the crew made it. I uh, just want to note for the camera that Dina made some fantastic eddies <laughs> on the way down. <laughs> fantastic run on the Tuckasegee. Look at this thing. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> And, uh, we appreciate it. It was a fantastic run. It was a perfect run for the little man. Glad you and, uh, make it. Had a good time, everybody. Good, yes, thank you. Right on. Come up and try the tuck with these fine folks. So the person who loves the camera the most is Paula. <laughs> <laughs> James, I appreciate the invite, man. Anytime. Perfect river for Pete. Love, love, Enjoyed David. it myself. Thanks, David. Yes, sir. Thanks, Dina. Thank you. And Paula. Thanks, awesome trip on the river. Fine folks up here. Uh, if you get a chance to pad with them, take it up. I really think I'm going to try to get these guys out with me on the Teleco. Um, you think you can run Baby in to do it now? We're going to find out. He looks, look at it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good one. Ready to go get some Wendy's? Days like this were my dream from before he was born.
And it's not my dream anymore. It's better. It's what I call, hey dad, let's go kayaking. <laughs>